You know, change is possible because of people like you. It's because of people like uh, uh, Efrain uh, Escobedo. I, I want to tell his story because Efrain was born in Los Angeles to two immigrants from Mexico. As an oldest child, Efrain took on the role as his parents' advocate, translating for them in school and at the doctor's office. And when he turned 18, eager to exercise his new right to vote, he realized that his parents couldn't vote. He said, I had these two parents who raised me to love this country and worked so hard to be there, and yet, in a very important way, they weren't part of this democracy. And the more Efren learned about the power of his vote, the more he threw himself into the work of turning whole neighborhoods of people like him into active and engaged citizens. And through the organization where he works, the California Community Foundation, he's worked tirelessly to encourage people to apply for citizenship and become involved in their communities and to vote and to consider running for office themselves. In 2007, with other Latino leaders, he helped lead a campaign to encourage people to become U.S. citizens. And he joined the citizenship campaign I launched last September. And since uh, Efrain the uh, campaign was launched, millions of people have become U.S. citizens and active participants in our democracy. And that just shows you the difference that one person can make. If we use our democracy, he says, it does work and every vote really does count. Throughout this room, all across this land, we're blessed with people like Ephraim. And that's what makes strong communities. That's what makes for a strong country. People working to push this country forward, even just a little bit, and then handing it off in better shape for future generations. And that's really what we celebrate here today. Uh, and for that, uh, I want to thank you. Uh, for that, I think you've all earned a few margaritas. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless America. Viva Mexico!